Hi guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel. I am Tragic Fantasy and this is Grown Kidding. So, today I want to talk about absence. Now, they say absence makes the heart grow fonder, but with me, it really does the opposite. Great games like The Last Guardian, Final Fantasy XV, even television shows like Walking Dead, Game of Thrones. I have little to no interest in all of the above. I'm the sort of person that I wait too long and you've lost my interest. I don't like being pulled along. It's like being really interested in someone, arranging a date, and then they decide to tell you, do you know what, can't make it. Let's do it in a year, because you'll feel the same way, right? No, I won't. I was really, really excited when I first saw The Last Guardian. When it was first announced, I saw a little bit of gameplay, the concept, I was loving it. Look, we're still waiting. Same with Final Fantasy XV. In fact, it's only very, very recently that I started giving any form of a damn about it again. And that's all thanks to Phil's lifestyle. Thank you very much, buddy. I will leave your channel link in the description below. Seriously, I guess I just don't like waiting. I'm the sort of person I feel disrespected if I'm made to wait. I lose interest. I'll anticipate things so much. And then it will just... die. You can't kind of play with my emotions like that, guys. You can't keep me waiting forever. Eventually I will lose interest, and it's sad when I do. Like I said, I was brought back to Final Fantasy, but for the rest of the things, I don't care about. I don't want to wait a year for one thing, or ten years for another thing, and that's what Final Fantasy XV was to me. It was a very big wait. And nine times out of ten, when you wait so long for something, it's never as good as you imagine it can be, because you've had X amount of years of expectations. Look what happened to Duke Nukem. From what I heard, it was a terrible game, but then other people said it wasn't a bad game. It was just a bad game, considering the era it was releasing. What about Avatar 2? James Cameron promised it would be within, what, two or three years of the original, and here we are several years later, still no Avatar. I just don't care, because you can't postpone excitement. You can't build up a hype for something, and then take it away. And then tell yourself that when you bring it back, weeks, months, even years, or even a decade later in some cases, people are going to feel the same way. For me, I can't maintain that attachment. If something is dangled in front of me and then ripped away from me, I just lose interest and I'll move on to something else. Anyway guys, this is just another nonsensical rant. Absence does not make the heart grow fonder in my case. How about you? Does waiting make you look forward to things more? Or does it just frustrate you and perhaps ruin it for you altogether? Thank you very much for stopping by. Stay winning, stay kidding, and let me introduce you to the motto. I'm a big kid today, and I'll be a big kid tomorrow. Tragic out.